Technology today is becoming the next big thing. It is seen all over the world in many different forms. We have iPhones, tablets, computers, and multiple technologies that provide assistance to children in physical need. This is great for the school districts and the families who can afford each of these devices. But what about those who can't? In this iMovie, I have photographed and videotaped some of my experiences with technology in education. The setting of this movie is a pre-K classroom located in an urban school in western New York. As you can see in this video, the classroom has a smartboard device. The device is connected to a laptop provided to the classroom teacher. The teacher uses the smartboard for the morning meeting each day. During morning meeting, the students learn about the calendar, the weather, and various attendance facts. First, the students review the calendar. The teacher uses the smartboard pen to count with the students until they reach each specific day. Then the teacher will write the date on the board. After the calendar, the students learn about the weather. The students take a moment to look outside and decide whether it is sunny, rainy, cloudy, and so on. After deciding, the teacher uses the smartboard pen to move over an image of the chosen upon weather. After the weather, the students count each other based on who is wearing short sleeve and long sleeve shirts. After each is counted, the teacher designates one student for each to move over the desired amount of images to represent the numeral. Then the student is given the opportunity to write the number. This is where the teacher concludes the morning meeting and the students are randomly chosen to choose their centers to play. Thirteen. How many long sleeve shirts do we have? Thirteen. Thirteen. Oh my goodness, can you count to thirteen again and move over thirteen shirts? Let me put it on the arrow for you. Okay, they're over there. Let's count with her this time, okay? During center time, the only available technology for students to use are three desktop computers. On the computer, students play a variety of games through ABC Mouse, Starfall, and PBS Kids. These games are educational, but it could be better. The students in this classroom have very minimal access to technology. Their only usage is a select two during morning meeting, and whoever is lucky enough to get a desktop computer first. Even the classroom teacher's laptop is hardly functioning correctly. This is a fantastic school filled with an amazing faculty and group of students. This school deserves to provide students with high-functioning technology to enhance their learning. However, urban schools are not often provided with necessary funding to have brand new devices in every room. It would be a difficult fix, but I believe students would benefit from playing with an Apple or Microsoft device. A majority of the students know what an iPad is, and in fact many wanted a chance to play with mine when I wasn't recording these videos. Students know what these devices are and deserve to learn through them. Even if each early childhood classroom only received one device, it could have a serious impact. Consider this a video of me advocating for the, this classroom and these students. Technology enhances learning more than any worksheet after worksheet. Hands-on learning is what drives students' imagination and creativity. 